Hey everybody, Caden CEO here with an actual unboxing video. So we did a ton of research on toys, things for the kid to play with, and namely what will work with his developmental stages at his different ages and how different toys will progress differently, um, different things that will work better for where he's at in his development stage. So we found a company called Love Every. So this is kind of like a subscription box type thing. They will send a box every couple of months. It depends on when their when their phases are, but they'll send out a box. And we got the very we got the first box for the zero to twelve weeks, and we have our next box coming in here fairly soon. We kind of found this late, but one of the really neat things about this company is they've done all the research. They've done a ton of research. They model their stuff after kind of a Montessori type. Uh, learning environment, so it's very very well documented well researched they um, There's cards in here to kind of walk you through How to work with your kid at this specific ages So not only have they done the research and providing you with the toys But they're also providing you with some of the details on how to use the toys and how to interact with the kid for their developmental stage All right, so We're gonna do the unboxing I'm cut this bad boy open and see what they got inside. So, open up the box. Designed by experts for your baby's brain, developing brain. <laughs> uh, first play kit is weeks 0 to 12 and it's called the Looker. So on the back of here, it walks through all the different things that it has in the box. Uh, but we're just going to kind of dive in and see what we've got in the box. With a cord board. Sorry, cardboard. My wife gives me a hard time because my accent, my, uh, my Cajunese comes out with that specific word. So this is their mobile. One of the neat things about this is you can see from this side it's colored. And on this side it's high contrast. So for the really early stages, Kids are looking for this more contrast, this high contrast, white, blacks. As they get older, they'll start to notice the colors and the color differences. So this is a really cool little mobile that you can hang. Uh, they actually recommend hanging it above the changing table. And so you'll kind of get an idea of what it'll look like. So it's a place where the, the kid's going to hang out, obviously, when you're changing their diaper. And so it's something to just kind of distract them while they're, while they're in there and getting their diaper changed. So this is a cool little thing. It bounces and then, you know, whenever they get to that age, you can reverse the string and pull it back through the other way and have it have the colors down so they can see that. All right, so what's, what we got next? So a note about the mobile, talks a little bit about the mobile. Um, what we'll do is I can post the, the information set here. I'm not gonna read through all of this, but we'll post that in the comments. And then we have a nice little bag for everything. So we'll carry in case. It's really neat. I guess we I guess it could could look through this. Um, but this is just a travel card holder. We didn't I don't know what's all in this box. We kind of glanced around at some of the bits and pieces, but we didn't do a whole ton of detail looking through what's all in here. So uh, we're kind of discovering this together uh, for the first time. Um, really cool colors, lots and lots of colors. Looks like we've got some cards, some high contrast cards. So this is what we've discovered or read, I should say, has been kind of this age, this zero to 12 weeks. They're really interested in these high contrasts. So we've got some different cards, you know, uh, big, big contrast to a little more fine contrast. We've got some little dots and some squiggles. And so these cards are really neat and we're going to be really interested to see how he follows them, how he looks at them, and tracks them and kind of just starts really engaging. And so what the plan is for this video is we're going to do the unboxing. We're going to stop the video. We're going to go hang out with the kiddo and using a lot of the cards and get a sense for what what he likes, what he doesn't like, how he reacts to them, and then kind of 
fill in the update towards the end of the video of, of what we liked, what we maybe discovered. Uh, let's see, we've got lullabies. So it's got some traditional, you know, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Rockabye Baby. So some things to sing along with the kid. I'm gonna come back to this. Um, this is, I guess, just another fold out of everything that's included, tells you what everything is. So let's see, one was the mobile. Um, four is this. This is the standing card holder. I'll have to figure out how that works, so we'll pull out some destructions. Uh, we got the travel card holder, as we saw, the simple black and white card set, and then next is the silicon rattle with removable ball. So again, high contrast, it's got this cool little rattle and removable ball so uh, the kid can play with the ball or the full rattle. Sorry, I'm going to get this caught in something. What else? Uh, that's this card holder. And we've got, um, for you, a little something. Oh, that's sweet. The days are long, but the years are short. A little coffee mug, because you know we need coffee for for surviving. Uh, <laughs> man, the caffeine is important. So... That wasn't even like, at least I didn't see that. Oh, I guess it's 10, a little something for you. I'm about to enjoy a warm drink in a quiet moment. <laughs> and then we have. Great packaging, by the way. Really nice packaging. I like this. So we got little mitts with high contrast. So again, they're getting that high contrast on their hands, being able to look at their hands and react. These are really cool, they're really soft. So we have, so that was, let me make sure I got, I got that. So that was, uh, da, 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 see if it says black and white mittens. Okay, so nothing special. Um, this is wooden, the wooden book. Take that off. So again, really high contrast. These are nice wooden, wooden cards with high contrast things bound in like a little book. This is, yeah, I like this. This is really nice. It's really, really well made. Um, yeah. So that's everything that came in the box. We'll get back to this, which I kind of stopped away from. We have a one month and two month sticker as well. It came with it. It's cute. This right here, from what we read, is kind of the reason we, we, went with this company. They have done the research. So this is um, the what and when. So everything that came with it, um, how to play with it. This is the baby and you. So lots of really great details in the first, you know, in the first four weeks. Uh, this is again continued first four weeks, five to 12 weeks, five to 12 weeks, a full just kind of overview of the zero to 12 weeks, things that are going on with the baby, developmental things, uh, the play things. So, you know, it's got a visual exploration with the mobile, it talks a little bit about that, uh, promoting uh, positive neural connections, talked a little bit about that. So lots of great information. Again, you know, as new parents, we just, we didn't have the time to do all of the research to, to look at everything because there's so much out there. Um, and quite honestly, there's a lot of somewhat competing, conflicting information out there about what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing. And this, this just seemed really simple. This is, this is all the, all the information kind of condensed down. Uh, we're gonna, like I said, read through a lot of this stuff, play with it, pull, you know, play with it with the kid, obviously. Uh, we're not gonna play with it just ourselves, but see how he interacts, see how he reacts to things, see how, um, you know, you can kind of see his eyes light up whenever they start to get things and understand things. 
So the next half of this video, we'll be going into a little bit more detail about what we noticed, specifically with how he interacted with the gifts or the, the toys and then what we liked about it. And if we find anything we didn't like or you know could have been different, we'll talk about that as well. But so far, everything is really nice quality. The cards, you know, the cards are a little, they came a little bent. Um, I, I think they maybe could have done better about, about the packaging on that. But other than that, everything looks really, really nice quality. Really, uh, this thing looks really cool. And I, you know, I'm excited to see how he, how he looks at that and what he thinks about that. But we'll be back with the second half of the video. So stay tuned. All right. So it's been about a week, maybe two weeks that we've had all of the items that we got from Love Every. So you saw the beginning of the video, we did our unboxing. We took all the things out and we messed with them, played with the kid with them and uh, read through the book. This I will say has been phenomenal. This gave us a lot of really great uh, hints, some tips, how to use the different things in some different ways, and just some really, really great insight and research. So this was one of the big reasons we went with Love Every is because of the research and the information that we were provided with in this little pamphlet. So we're interested to see what the next box brings and the information that we get in that next box. I'm going to cover a couple of the items. You'll see some of the stuff we don't have with us. The mobile specifically is incredible. So we have it hanging up. We just didn't want to fight with taking it back down or anything like that. I mean, from fussy, angry, crying kiddo, laid him down to try to grab something to soothe him. He saw the mobile and just, I mean, instant, quieted down, stared at it and was just in awe. So it has been a really, really great tool. We really enjoy the mobile. That that probably out of everything here was has been more worth it than anything else. Uh, but the other items have been great as well. <coughs> so the next thing I want to talk about is the little wooden book. This thing is really neat. It's really well crafted. I like the quality of it a lot. And our little guy loves the pictures. Um, I took to just making up stories, talking about the animals in the book, and flipping them through each different little thing, making different noises. He enjoyed it a ton. Again, the, the high contrast images just stared at them in awe, uh, smiled ear to ear when we got to different pages and things like that. He really, really enjoyed it. Great, great quality book. Uh, I'll talk about the rattle next. The rattle's been nice. At first, he really didn't uh, take to the rattle a whole lot. It was just kind of, and eh, it was there. But over the last week, he's really starting to grab onto it and hold it and, and start to play with it a little bit more. He's starting to notice the rattle and follow it a bit more as well. So I think some of that was just his development stage. But this has been really cool because it's something easy we can throw in the diaper bag and something we can kind of just give him to play with. Um, like I said, I think the extra, the textures on each side have been nice because when he starts to grab onto it, he's getting these different sensations in his hands as well. So this has been really cool. The mittens, we have the other one upstairs. Uh, the mittens for us didn't really work that well. Our, our son hates having his hands bound. So anytime we've tried to put mittens on him so that he doesn't scratch his face or anything like that, he just absolutely hates them. So that's, I think that's more uh, our son versus other kids. But when we did finally get it on his hand, uh, there, were, there were a couple of times where he started to notice his hand a little bit more than he has been uh, recently. We've also tried putting them just on his feet since his feet are a little bit further away from him and he's, he's been kicking his feet up uh, a bit more. And that, that kind of hit or miss again. He, he seemed to kind of notice them, but he doesn't have the control to be able to keep his feet up to see it. Um, it was just something we were experimenting with, but these were, you know, for our kid, maybe just not the greatest, but maybe different for yours. The cards. The cards have been great. I, I've used them a handful of times in getting the instructions. It talks about uh, picking a card, holding it up for them, you know, catching their glance and moving it around so that they learn how to uh, do eye tracking and following. 
and then just kind of letting them observe it until they start to get bored and, and you maybe start to look away and then flip to another card and re-grab their attention. So these have been really nice and again we've got you've got lots and lots of different options. It goes up to more complex images and you can kind of see his his eyes starting to widen and him, him really start to try to focus on it when you get to more complex images. So these have been really cool. We really, really like them. The, um, the stand-up card holder, I didn't like. I didn't like this at all. One of the reasons for it is, A, I think the pockets need to be a little bit bigger and spread out. So when I put the cards in, like this pocket, for instance, right is right on the curve. It started to bend the cards. I, you know, some of that, I just don't like the card. I didn't want the cards getting bent. So I uh, wasn't a huge fan of this. The cards are kind of hard to get in here as well. They're, they're really tight. So um, just the feedback from us, we, we really aren't probably gonna use this a whole lot at all. Uh, the concept's great to be able to stand it up and have him look at him. You know, that's kind of the idea is you can, you can have it on the side where he can turn his head and look. Uh, like I said, I just, I don't like the fact that the cards are getting bent and damaged in it. Um, the travel case has been really cool. I don't know that he can see it really well and it may be glare or something like that, but this opens up and then the strap goes around the headrest on the seat behind them. So basically this hangs, you've got your car seat here and this hangs on the seat so they can see him. Um, hard to tell if he's really noticing them or not. Again, we're in the front seat driving, but, um, but they do hold the cards really well and it's, at the end of the day, it's a great carrying case for them. If we do end up getting more of these cards and whatnot, they fit in here great. Um, so we still have it set up. We'll put it back in the car. We'll have it set up, but you know, all the cards do fit in here. They're really nice and they don't get bent uh, when they're in here. So this has been kind of cool. We don't know if it's super effective or not, but I do like it even if it's just for uh, carrying out the cards. Uh, I think that was everything that came in the Love Every Box. Uh, the coffee mug, um, we're not breastfeeding or anything like that. So we're back to full, full leaded, um, giant coffee mugs because that's just you know life so <laughs> with a toddler uh, we're not really worried about the caffeine intake as far as breast milk goes so we really haven't used it but it is a nice nice looking coffee mug and good quality looking um everything in this box has been great we've really enjoyed it our son seems to have really enjoyed it a lot and we're starting to notice it could just just be timing uh, but we are starting to notice he's he's doing a lot more of these developmental uh, milestones that it talks about and he seems to be progressing along in those and again he could have without any of this stuff but it does seem to be helping a, a decent amount and he's really engaging with a lot of the items that we got from the love every box so we highly highly recommend it we got our next box on the way we're going to do another unboxing spend some time with the baby with it and then do a review of that as well. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. Go ahead and leave a like if you like the video, subscribe for the rest of the videos, and we'll have a link for the baby gear uh, playlist that we've got for other stuff. And thanks everybody for watching.